What's up guys, it's your boy Vic. Now today it's packed as all hell at this mall right now. Apparently there's some outdoor show going on. But I'm heading over to my locals, about to participate in the tournament today. I'm gonna get back to you in a little bit. Peace. Look how packed it is in here. Like elimination type out, but it's only because it pushes the base. It's packed in this. What's up, guys? It's your boys, Vic. Now, today I'm here at my locals with my boy E Man over here. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Yo, what's good, homies? Check this out. This is Link Swift 33 about to do a deck profile of the one and only Despots. <laughs> Unfortunately, I gotta organize all these cards because they're not organized right now, but I'll get back to you in a little second. A little second. Yeah. As soon as we get back, I'll show you all the Despot profile that I've been talking about in the previous videos. My man top, like, almost an endless weeks until end until now with despots and everybody talks about him like he's a legend they all mention yo i got otk like three four times in a row like it i couldn't take it look he even got it on his head yeah bro my, it says i don't know if you see it, it says the legend that's hard to see and down the bottom is my name right there emmanuel Shit. Y'all already see what it is. Hey, I'm about to get back to you in a second, though. Hey, how you doing? Shut <laughs> Alright, so, so my little my dust bots, mini bots, Mega Man deck profile. I'm about to get into it right now. There's a lot of combos. It's just too much to explain. You just gotta work on it, play test, and you'll, see, you'll figure it out. But the first thing, first, first things first, I'll play one dust bot 001. Um, you don't want more because he's like clogging stuff, but um, he's very good with machine dupe. Anything that special summons machines multiple times. If he's in a grave, special summon it to the field. He gains 500 attack and defense for each machine type on the field. He's uh, one of the power hitters of the deck. The Stratos, I played three. Uh, when there's special summon, you get to add any death spot from the deck to the hand. It's not a once per turn effect. You can just keep doing it, spamming out. Plus, they also give all other machines 500, so it boosts up infinities, anything machine, which is always good. One of my favorite cards and one of the best cards in the deck is three uh, 003s. When he's normal summon, special summon any death spot from the deck to the field. He starts your combos, and there's a lot of combos that you can abuse them. You can uh, bounce them to your hand, and you can... Um, Normal summon him twice, but I'll explain that later on. And also, uh, they're either player's turn. You can target one death spot, and you can activate this during damage check because there's a boosting effect. But you can target one death spot against 500 attack defense for each death spot card for each death spot card on the field, and they stack, and it becomes a big, it becomes very powerful. <laughs> one of my favorites, if not one of the most important ones. 004. Now this is your true combo starters. You can make uh, link monsters after you use this effect. But um, when he attacks, destroys a monster. Special two different two death spots with different levels from the hand or deck. I mean hand or graveyard. Also, when he attacks, you can foolish burial any death spot monster. Gains 500 attack per level that he sends. So if you send 005, it's 3,000 attack right there. All right. I play three zero zero fives. Another combo maker. If you pop them, special summon death spots. If you pop them from the scale, special summon death spots from the graveyard to the field. Um, also, he's good because he's level five machine. You can make infinities with him. And when he's special summon or normal summon, you can destroy a back row. So he's, he's very good. I play uh, two zero zero six. The reason why I play zero, two zero zero six and not three because he's kind of a little cloggy. You don't want to you want to have him in the hand. He's good at um, pendulum summoning, switching battle positions, and when he's popped, you get to uh, add a death spot from the graveyard to the hand. But you can also combo with him, and I'll show you later on. So that's all the death spots. I don't play seven, eight, or nine because, like again, it really messes up with the consistency. So you want to see your your threes, your fours, and you want to see other combos that can make to, uh, that can add three and four to your hand. 
So um, I play the symphonic engine. So these are my br my brilliant fusions basically. So I play three um, three of the guitars and three and two of the mics. Uh, I play two. Some people play one. I prefer two because you want to see him. He's not a bricky card if you draw him, and you want to see him in your deck as much as possible too, along with having one in your hand. So uh, with with a uh, guitar, if he's in um, in your uh, pendulum scale, you discard a card, special summon mics from the deck, and once mics hits the field, you have two extra normal summons. And so. If um, you normal summon uh, the Symphonic Warrior guitar, you get to special summon mics from the graveyard. Any Symphonic from the graveyard. So I've seen these, these going to Infinity a couple times with mics. Yeah, Infinity. <laughs> yeah, also uh, Machine, very important. So one of the combos is, you know, once you have mics on the field, you can normal summon twice. You can summon uh, 003, uses effect, add 2, 2 will add another 3, and they can normal summon again. So, with whoever you want normal summon next, while he's on the field, you can make uh, either a Trish play right here, or you can make uh, Infinity play if you special summon 005. Right. Yeah, so you play, I, I prefer two, because if he's in a hand, you can always tribute summon a monster. It's not that hard to do in this deck, and you can already normal summon again after this. So, I play the one Gofu. Yeah, next week next week is going away for a monster born or an asylum uh, judgment. Saltiness is real. It's all good. Uh, Gofu is really good. A lot of the a lot of combos I do involve uh, Gofu it's into making a death spot jet from the extra deck. So um, I'll show you the combo later on. But you know what Gofu does. It's kind of standard. I play uh, three hand traps. So I play two ghost ogres and the one maxi that's going to be going away as well rest in peace maxi um <laughs> your this deck doesn't really the the deck how i made it doesn't really get affected by ash or any of uh, any hand traps because there's going to be multiple ways to bring out to swarm the field so i play i play them i don't play ash because i don't like i don't like them having um the monster still on board or the card I prefer ghosts because it just destroys the card. Even though the effect works, it, I just want to remove the, the monster sometimes. And that was all the monsters. Time for the spells. The best card in the deck that's at three right now, Machine Duplication. That's just OTK right there. No matter... Basically, if you use this card, you automatically win. You win. Yeah, because the whole deck's machine. They're all machine, 500 attack. You win. Um, two instant fusions. Um, I like Insta Fusion. You can make Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can make a machine um, level five and go from Infinity from there. Or you can make uh, not many people play it, but the best card last year, Theseus. You can make that. I still got that. Level five tuner. You can combo with your uh, your zero zero five or um, your um, what's his name, the Symphonic Warrior Mike's. Make a level ten, so you make a jet. So you make jet, and you can just combo from there. It really uh, unbreaks your hand. So this is very, very good. Um, two pot of desires, you know that neg nine that we all love. I love it. <laughs> I, I do my combos first and then activate it. Hopefully, I draw into my traps or hand traps. So it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, two twin twisters. Um, I like to make sure I OTK, destroy my opponent's back row. I also combo this if I have. 002 and, and 005, I'll activate 005, put them in a the scale. Twin Twister, send 002 to the grave. As cost to uh, pop five and one of their back rows, five triggers, special summon 002, and then you'll add the 002 to get three or something like that. So you can activate combos from like bricky hands like that. Uh, two scapegoats, scapegoat is too good. One card firewall, uh, Link Karibo, all kinds of links summoning moves. Puts you in a good start. A lot of people that people don't like to play, that I like to play, is that Mind Control. This card is good. You can take any other monsters, use it as a pen, as a Link Summon material, or you can use their scales, them at their zones, and Link Summon there. Um, there was a part where I had a, where I um, I took the Dread, what's his name, Scully, 
Oh yeah, the skull so, dude. The skull dude, yeah that dude. Took <laughs> him, used his effect, special summon 002 from my hand, and it went off from there. This card is very important, and I'm glad it's at three. This card is busted. <laughs> That's right. On for the traps. I play two Quakings. He, um, I know a lot of people are like iffy with this card. I like it because I know I can get away with my deck. I can get, I can destroy basically anything on the field because 004 is just too big sometimes. So all the Lake Monsters, they, they're not really much of a threat. And I just like um, Quaking because it just sets everything to defense and they can't switch it. And um, 004 will just have a good time. <laughs> the last two cards, two evenly match. This card is just busted. This is busted. You have to play it. This card is busted. I was thinking about picking up a pair eventually. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of running three, but I think I like, I like two. I like two. I like where it's at. No complaints about the deck right now. Not at all. Like, it's consistent. Um, I've been winning, like, locals, uh, I think, three times in a row, like, undefeated. And mm -hmm. it's really good. <laughs> I play Trick Stars, Spirals, you know, all the meta decks. Today I played. Um, Electrum, the metal foes. The made them look like scrubs. You won that. But I'm gonna go to the, the uh, extra deck. So I play uh, one jet. He, uh, he, um, he's like a scrap dragon. You can target a death spot, you can target himself to pop a face up card in your opponent's control. But I prefer, the, I like to use them because um, I like to pop himself to special summon any death spot from my deck to the field. So two would add three or whoever, it, it, it starts my combos off. Also, he gains 500 attack and defense for each death spot card on the field. So he just becomes a big booty. <laughs> and he gets around the, um, the extra rank monster because if 004 pops whatever, and he's in a grave, you can just special summon right to your main monster's own defense. So that's good. I play uh, Trish. Trish is just too powerful still, doesn't target. It's just too good right now. And you can make him easy. Yeah, it's too, you're stupid not to play Trish. I was thinking about picking up a Trish. Beast. Beast is so powerful right now. Everything is Earth, so except for the, um, the Symphonics, but you can make Beast easy. That Those are just the three Synchros. I play uh, Psychroid. People laugh at this, but I like it because... Uh, He's an Instant Fusion target. Instant Fusion target and uh, Machine, so you can make uh, Infinity. That's um, true, and he can attack directly. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't with instant fusion no, yeah, attack. But, but Theseus, the, like I said before, is a little five tuner just in case if you have five. Because making jet is very important to start your combos. Not even to start your combos, but just to make sure you have combos and plays for next turn. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, it's too good. Take take your opponent's monster, then make a Link Rebound out of it. <laughs> I've seen you do that like three times. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. The only X seeds I play are the Infinities. Infinity and uh, Nova, and if Nova dies for some reason without Infinity, you'll just special summon uh, your little Psycho. And that's true. Um, now for the Link Monsters, Borlo kills Masterpiece because every, everything takes control of the monster. That card a lot is of this, so annoying, yo. <laughs> I don't, if you notice, like a lot of cards in my deck basically takes my opponent's monsters. You got Affinity, you got Born Low. Gives you, you field mind advantage. Con mind control, yep. You want to get the field advantage and you want to link some of it. Fireball, play Scapegoats, one card. So good. Um, especially if you have 002 in the hands, 005. Because you'll special summon with his effect and then you'll just get their effects off and stuff. Deco Talker. This card helped me a lot against Musketeers because Musketeers target my death spots a, um, a lot. So you make him, and then you have uh, you spam after that. But he's very good. This is Radiant. Um, I'm gonna miss um, adding Maxi back to my hand with this card. But oh damn, I never <laughs> thought about that. Yeah. Um, oh man, he's good. Like if you have three in a grave, you can always put it right back to your hand. Make sure you have plays again for next turn. That's the very important thing. You need the plays for next turn. Um, I play Akashic. People question this, but I like it because if I'm trying to like save resources, if I put Despot 003 on like underneath the um, extra deck, I'll just bounce it back to my hand, and if I have the mics, I'll just summon that three again. So it'll just save me a lot of resources. Plus, um. 
there's a time when I bounced a decal talk because of um, the lake mark. The lake marker was pointing down, so I just made it here. Um, proxy, proxy's too good. Um, self explanatory, and then Lake Rebo is self explanatory. Lake Rebo, though. Yeah, Lake Rebo's too good right now. <laughs> yeah, buddy. But yeah, that's my, that's my little death spots right now. Uh, the little the little mini engines that could. Basically. <laughs> the mini and they did. Could. They did. They did, bro. For weeks. What place you made today, bro? Uh, I forgot what place I made. But I did pull the skull, you guys. Yeah. You made top 16. Oh, yeah, top 16. I made top 16. Out of like 35 players, yo. Yeah. Last week. Actually, 40 in total. Oh, last, 40 total, yeah, five drops. Last week, uh. Last week I went undefeated in this um, in the tournament. I didn't lose a single game. Like I never went to game three. I always two with this deck. And if you know how to play it, like it's it's so fun. It's very fun. I think they're the underdogs. People are not like noticing, but they do really good. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> Peace out, homies. My boy mentioned my boy Emmanuel mentioned that he was going to do combos that's not going to be till next video only because i had to go at the time because i had to pick up my son from my in-laws and then go pick up my girl from work so i apologize for that um the next time i see him i'll make sure to get, to get that in but um thank you guys for watching love you guys thank you i got 22 subscribers now what's up i got 22 subscribers now it's all good apparently i'm doing something right I, uh, matter of fact, I had like three people come up to me at my locals and be like, yo, I saw your videos. I was like, oh, thank you so much. It, it, it makes me happy knowing that, I, you know, there are people out there that are enjoying my content. I know I do things differently than everybody else, but you know what? That's why I have to stick out from everybody else. You know, everybody does things their own way. So thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. And stay tuned for more content. Peace. <laughs>